now we are on to the actually problems we'll see certain problems this is the notational conventions which uh, generally we are going to follow so this theta is the degree measure so where, wherever you will find this theta you just understand that we are talking about degree and whenever we are talking about uh, beta or this representation is there just understand that we are talking about the radian measure and the radian measure and the conversion you already know by now that the radian measure if you want to convert the degree measure into radian measure then you just have to multiply it by pi by 180 and vice versa that means radian measure needs to be converted to degree measure for that you have to multiply it by 180 by pi and pi actually it's a irrational number so we'll be taking approximation as 22 by 7 now let us uh, go along with the questions first. So we need to convert this 40 degree 20 minutes into radian measure. How we are going to change it? First of all, we know that 180 degree is pi radian. Now this, this uh, has two part. First is degree, second is minute. So we need to convert this minute into this degree and then add it to the actual one. Or just transform these two into a single measure. How? First this 20 minutes and how we can convert this 20 minutes into degree? We know that we have to divide it by 60. Why 60? Because one minute, uh, actually 60 minutes are there in one degree. So we need to divide it by 3. So 20 by 60 is what? This is 1 by 3. So 41 by 3, now you can convert it into the normal form that is 1 to 1 by 3 40 into 3 plus 1 that is 1 to 1 by 3 now this is in degree and the question being asked is you have to convert it into the radians so how are you going to do it this you just have to multiply it by pi by 180 that is 1 to 1 pi by 540 this is the radian counterpart or radian conversion of the same now next next we are on to the conversion of six radians into degree measure Six radians, so it's quite seems to be quite easy. That six radians just multiply it by 180 by pi, as we know pi radian is equal to 180 degree. So 180 by pi into six degree, this is what we'll get. But once we get this degree, so this is the form. So 343 is actually the degree, and 7 by 11 is residual. Residual means this is in minutes. 7 by 11 is in minutes. So you need to convert this minute now into degree again. Uh, this uh, into minute again. So you have to convert this into uh, degree into minute. How? One degree is 60 minute. So you have to multiply it by 60. You have to multiply it by 60. Again, when you convert this, you get 38. You get actually 38 2 by 12. So 38 you can take, but 2 by 11 is again residual. Residual means you have to convert this into this minute into what? De degree minute second. So you have to convert it into the seconds. And you know that one minute has 60 seconds. So you just have to can multiply this by your number that is 60 and that will give you 10.9. So this is 343 degree, 38 minutes and 11, uh, 38, 40, 30 degree. This is in minutes and this is in seconds. This is how we convert it. The next is uh, find the radius of a circle in which a central angle of 60 degree intercepts an arc of length 37.4 centimeter. This is the arc. Actually, this is the arc. So this is we are going to use the L equal to R theta expression here L equal to R theta for that L is 37.4 we are aware of that which is given now if this L equal to R theta in this expression we are going to use only in radians so this 60 degree is not going to suffice we have to convert it into radians and you know by now that we have to convert this using pi by 180 multiplication so 60 can be multiplied by directly by pi by 180 so ultimately you will get pi by 3. Now you can use this L equal to R theta or R is equal to L by theta. This L can be taken as 37.4. Theta you have just uh, found out to be pi by 3. Just multiply and you will get 35.7 centimeter. This is the radius. Next is the minimum minute hand of a watch is 1.5 centimeter long. So minute hand is 1.5 centimeter long. That means this is the, this is the radius. How far does it tip move in 40 minutes? If you assume this to be a circle or a clock as a circle, then for 360 degree, it is going to take 60 minutes to cover that angle. For 40 minutes, 
it is going to cover two by third, two by third of that particular region area. So in 40 minutes, it is going to cover two by three of revolution. And now you know that two by third of 60 degree will be the angle. So you take this two by third of angle will be our angle. So two by third of 360 degree will be theta. And uh, this is actually four pi by three radian. Now we have this L, this is R actually, this is R and we want to find the L. So R is this, 4 pi 3, 4 pi by 3 is now our theta. So this is 6.28 centimeter, this will be our answer. Next is, if the arcs of the same length uh, in uh, two circles, subtract angle 65 degree and 110 degree at the center, find the ratio of their radii. What uh, the question is, you have two different circles. But the length, the arc of same length is the arc take you take here, arc you take here. The angle which are which the equal arc are going to subtend. First is 65 degree, the other one is 110 degree. So we want to find the ratio of their radii. So let us consider R1, R1 and R2 or assume R1 and R2 to be the radii of these two circles. So this is given that theta1 is 65 degree. And you are aware that if you are uh, supposed to use this L equal to R theta, you have to convert this 65 degree into the radian and you do it by multiplying it with pi by 180. So multiply these two angles by pi by, pi by 180, theta 1 will, will be 13 pi by 36, theta 2 will be 22 pi by 36. This is what you get. Now L equal to R theta, L is same, L1 is equal to actually L2. So L equal to R1 theta 1, R2 theta 2, you, you just equate them and R1 by R2, the ratio can be found out to be 22 by 13 and this is your answer, this is your uh, result. Now trigonometric functions, these are, very, uh, these are very important. Now you please understand because this is very important. If you don't understand that, you will not be able to understand what is cos, what is sine, how does this cos re remain between minus 1 and 1, what are the domain ranges, these all are very dependent. So first is that we are going to make a circle like this and this circle is of radius 1 and this is our x-axis, this is our y-axis. This is our x-axis, this is our y-axis and the radius we have taken as one of this circle. This is our x, this is our angle basically. Now this, any point AB, if we consider any point AB, this is the x coordinate means A, this is the y, B, and this is our uh, one. So this is the base, this is the perpendicular, and this is the hypotenuse. Now this is very important because we, you are going to consider later why the signs are there, minus cos minus uh, x is y cos x. So what will be cos x? Cos x will be nothing but, but you just have to consider Pandit Badri Prasad, Pandit Badri Prasad Har Har Bol. So Pandit Badri Prasad Har Har Bol, for that you cos is b by h, so base upon hypotenuse. So a by 1, that is cos x will be a. Similarly, sin x will be perpendicular upon hypotenuse, that is b by 1. So you'll get this as b. So cos x is a, sin x is b and if we consider this triangle a square plus b square is nothing but 1 because this is Pythagoras theorem. So a square plus b square is 1, so cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1, right? So this is pi by 2, this is again pi by 2, so this can, uh, in all consolidated it will be pi, this will be 3 pi by 2 and this finally will be 2 pi. So one revolution give rise to 2 pi. So this is pi, 3 pi by 2, these are the angles uh, we need to understand, but what are these? First let me tell you that, that all the integral multiples of pi by 2 are considered to be, or they are named as quadrantal angles, quadrantal angles. But the coordinates of points A, B, C, D, what are they? They are 1, 0, 0, 1, minus 1, 0, 0, minus 1. How? You see, this is 1, 0, this is 0, 1, this is minus 1, 0, this is 0, minus 1. So these are the coordinates which we are talking about and see cos 0 is 1 in the, in the first quadrant angle. This one cos 0 is 1, sin is 0, here cos is 0, sin is 1. Now you understand how, how we get this, how we get cos pi by 2 equal to 0, how, why, how we get pi sin pi by 2 equal to 1. So these are the point of the coordinates at the axis which these values are representing and you see this cos 0 and sin 0 1 and 0 they are repeated here so when once you go from 0 to 2 pi or you convert 
you cover all of them means from 0 to 2 by 360 degree then the value will be same so it will it will not going to affect but the thing is that in between all these all these angles like this this can be 30 degree this can be 60 degree this can be 120 degree this can be you know some 270 degree all these angle can be computed so you will get the values of cos 270 also cos 270 cos 320 all these angles are there but the basic angles are these now you got the idea how we compute the angle what exactly cos or cosine is what is sine what is tan tan is nothing but the division of cos and sine uh, sine and cos so this was uh, what we have learned and uh, one thing i would like to highlight here that we just saw that at cos 0 things are um, equal to co at cos 2 pi again sin 0 is equal to sin 2 pi why because if you multiply or any or if you cover that distance of 2 and pi and has to be an integer that sin x or that sin 2 pi x is going to remain as sin x so 2 pi jump will take you to the same value again this is true for cos also 2 pi jump for any value that is uh, 2 pi 3 pi 4 pi 2 pi and this n is there so 2 pi and 4 pi then 6 pi 8 pi all these are going to give you the same value of the cos and see sin x equal to 0 is when 0 pi 2 pi 3 pi and this is plus minus but cos 0 is going to give you uh, the result this is only going to give you result when the value of x is pi by 2 3 by 3 pi by 2 5 pi by 2 so these are the just in integral multiple but here the multiple of pi is 2 n plus 1 pi by 2 so these are all odd numbers so cos will give you answer as 0 and these are odd multiple sin is going to give you for any multiple this is what we are going to see so in the next discussion, I'm going to take you to a very important aspect of uh, our discussion. So um, let me conclude it today. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, take care of yourself.